You want to talk about a hidden gem in Prescott, Arizona? You might have driven by this place a dozen times. Oh, that's good because it's a bakery. Maybe even a baker's dozen times. Here's where we are. Courthouse Square is right there. We're on the corner of Whiskey Row below the iconic St. Michael's Hotel. That is where you will find possibly some of the best baked goods you have ever had here at Grandma's Bakery. It's pretty sweet. Hi. Jess, Hi. thank you so much for having us. This is one of my very favorite places in Prescott. You guys have a cult following, especially your chocolate chip cookies. Thank what, you. What kind of magic goes in there that you can discuss? Well, mostly um, love, honestly. <laughs> we, we just we pour our hearts into everything we do here. Well, I, I know that there are some proprietary ingredients in your baked goods. So listen, tell that. you guys don't have to know what they what it is that makes these chocolate chip cookies and all their pastries so incredible, but just know that they are and that you should try them. I feel like at least five or six people told me, locals, that I had to come here for the cookies and the baked goods. You guys have a cult following. How loyal are your customers? <laughs> they're, they're very loyal, actually. We, come, we have people that come every day for a cookie. I mean, just a cookie when they're walking by. Well, you just walk it off. You do, yep, exactly. This bakery actually has quite a rich history in town. Tell me about that. Um, it's just about almost 40 years old. Um, there's only been two owners. Uh, Jerry had it for 28 years, and I am in November going to hit my 10 years. Congrats. Thank you. So I started coming here, um, our, our crew, after it was recommended so many times. Every time we would be shooting in the area, the locals would tell us to come to Grandma's, so I came for the cookies because that's what you're famous for. But at one point, I tried a bagel. I brought it home to my husband who's lived in New York, and he has proclaimed that Grandma's Everything Bagel is the single best bagel he's ever had having lived in New York and L.A. Thank you. Yeah, well, we try and keep it authentic. We boil our bagels. That's the key, right? That is the so key. So tell me about that. You boil yep. it. And I've heard that the water is really important that you're boiling it in. Um, you know, they say that in New York, that it's that New York water, but um, we use bakery water and it's, it's just fine. It is just as I great. don't know what bakery water is, but I want that to be a perfume. Can you start selling Grandma's bakery water? Yep. Yes, we can. We'll start bottling it up. It does smell incredible in here. Yeah. So you guys are also known for your black and whites. And talk to me about the sugar cookie. Those are so festive and cute. Sugar shapes. Yeah, we try and theme them out for, you know, Valentine's Day we'll do hearts. St. Patrick's Day we got shamrocks. Eggs for Easter. Springtime, so we have flowers. Can we talk about, I guess this would technically be a donut, an eclair, right? Kind of. It's not fried, though. It's okay. baked. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And it's filled with custard. Oh, I see. Yeah. Ooh. And people love those. If you want those, you need to come early. They go fast. This is going to sell out? Those sell out. So, like, the street value of this eclair is pretty high right now. You yeah. know what I mean? I could probably <laughs> buy it and flip it <laughs> exactly. you for could. double. Yeah. yeah. Your baked goods, your bread, is not only just available here, but you sell them to a lot of restaurants in town. What are some of the places where people might have already eaten your bread or buns and they don't even know it? Well, we do all the buns for Sammy's Burger Joint, and they're located out by the Watson People love Lake. that place. People love them. Yeah, they are amazing. Their burgers are killer. Uh, we do the bagels for the porch and the Century Lounge. We do hot dog buns for Oogie's. We are rodeo sponsors, so during nice. rodeo week, we do all of their bread. Um, by the way, I think two weeks ago, I always, listen, I'll, confession, do I look at the day old basket? I do, because I think things are usually <laughs> half off in there. Yep, we sell all of our day-old stuff for five bucks. Last, I think a couple weeks ago, I got a day-old focaccia. Yeah. And then I, on the way, dr on the drive back to Phoenix, I was like, I'm just going to have a bite. <laughs> and then I'm just going to have another bite. Yeah. And then a couple towns later, I'd eaten half the focaccia. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yep. Yeah, it's just, it's a great pull apart. It's it, great for parties. Yep. Uh, hummus. It's easy to pack, Dips, it's like easy if you're pack, a yep. picnic, a hike, you take yeah. it with you. Yep. Um, do you do something with your day-olds that you don't sell? Everything that we don't sell, we donate to Salvation Army, Meals on Wheels, and U.S. Vets. Oh, that's great. Yeah. 
So nothing gets thrown away ever in this bakery. You're really a part of the community here. And again, I know that because so many people <laughs> told us to come here. We're like, okay, we get it, we'll come. Um, one of the things that you've added to this 40-year-old institution is the coffee. So before yep. I let you go, tell me what makes your coffee special. Um, it is locally roasted right down the road um, from the roasted Ott. She does all of our espresso. She does all different blends of coffee. Um, and she's just amazing. You can get her coffee a, a number of different places around town. We sell it by the pound. So if you want to have breakfast, like a true local, you just come see Jess, you have your Danish, you have your local coffee, yep. and then uh, it's, it's just like being at grandma's. Yep. And we do savory too. We do bagel sandwiches now. We have ham and cheese croissants. So it's not just all sweet stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> what?